Hello everyone, I'm BVG Hill and welcome back once again to, you guessed it, Mass Effect 2. Here we are, we're back. Last time we finished the Firewalker DLC. This time I think we will do, um, hold on, what am I doing? We'll do Arrival. It's the only bit of assignments we have left. Travel to the Batarian outpost on Aratot in the Bahak system in the Viper Nebula to break Dr. Amanda Kinson out of prison. So, Viper, Bahak, Aratot. Viper, Bahak, Aratot. Easy. Well, first, we have to get back to the damn mass relay, which I forgot to do in between recordings, because I am, uh, I'm a forgetful, I'm a forgetful guy, everyone. Just gotta, you know, you'll learn. I'm a very forgetful person. Sometimes I forget what I'm saying right in the middle of a sentence. Uh, Viper, Viper, Viper. Oh, there we go. Wow, I didn't even know this was over here. Okay. All right, Aratot. What do you got? Like Mount Everest inside an oven was how John Grissom described Eratot while on a fact-finding mission to see if the Garden World was worth cont contestation with the Batarians. His team ultimately decided that the planet's air pressure and oxygen content were too low for large-scale human habitation. Undeterred, the Batarian hegemony colonized the planet's polar regions and began an extensive terraforming effort with cyanobacteria and invasive plant species. Alliance intelligence has confirmed that the colony has several Batarian military installations which are too close to human space for the Alliance's comfort. Edie's travel advisory. The Batarian hegemony considers any presence of Alliance military vessels in Batarian space as hostile. The Normandy SR-2, while an independent vessel, strongly resembles the Normandy SR-1, an Alliance ship. Use of stealth systems is highly recommended. Colony founded 2162 CE, estimated 90,000 free and 215,000 other, with a capital of Ekta. Now remember, Admiral Hackett explicitly asked that Shepard go in on this one alone, so we're not going to be picking a squad. We're going in all alone, baby. All alone. We got to rescue Amanda Kenson, who apparently found something out with uh, to do with the Reapers. So here we go. Welcome to Arathon. A little rainy, some shitty weather, but hey, you'll have that, right? Okay, so to keep it low profile, I think we're gonna get the pistol out. You know, keep it real low. Here we are. I'm gonna break in, sneaky, sneaky like. Let's cut the power. Let's get in here. All right, creepy. Da na 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 na. Uh-oh, the bridge is broken. How convenient. I bet the power is down here. We've been spotted. Oh, shit. Batarian war beast. Batarians must send their prisoners down here to die. Got to find Dr. Kenson now. Yeah, we do. We most definitely do. Okay, so the bridge is now good. Poor Varen. There's such... They're such notoriously misunderstood creatures, I think. Alright, let's sneaky sneaky. A Varen. Too bad we don't have a silenced weapon, right? Shh. Hello? This place is run down. Even for a prison. Oh. <laughs> Don't think we can actually go this way, can we? No, we can't. But we cut the power, which means somewhere probably opened up back here. Get your hand off me. Whoops. Okay, moving right along. That's where we need to get to. That's a little gruesome. We, like blew him up or some shit. Oh.
All right. Let's go down here and see what's down here. Oh shit. I was scratching my nose. Poor Varen. Hold on. What's down here? Anything down here of interest first before I... Hmm. Ah, god damn it. Maybe there's another valve somewhere? I thought maybe, you know, I could run through it. At the beginning of the game, it let me run through fire. Screw it, you know? Sneaky, sneaky, baby. Hello out there. Prison guard. Okay, there's quite a few Batarians about. It's like the one and only stealth mission in Mass Effect. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh wait, actually, I think I'm supposed to go over here. That's why they have the highly conveniently placed. Hello? Okay, that's where the Batarians are standing. Anything cool over here? Refined Iridium, I'll take that. Sure. Alright, getting a little risky business here. Alright, let's jump down. Da -na -na -na. I feel like James Bond. Alright, let's go. Moving along. Nothing to see here. Hmm. Personal log and a locker in there. Feel like I don't want to get too close to them though, so I'm not going to risk it. over. Go over here. Let's go over here. It's clipping through the crate. Nifty skill to have. And then this one. And then this one. No. I fucked that up. I think I might have fucked that up. Ah, let's just go down. I think we're at. Oh, right. We moved that out of the way so that we could see I'll take it. this shit. Right, right, right. Let's open that. Not conspicuous at all, this random noise taking place. Not suspicious. Let's put this up. Avoid suspicions. And to get this stuff underneath it. Shh. Be very quiet, everyone. Hello. Hello. Mm. Uh huh. 
Right. What to be expected? All right, moving along. Let's investigate a bit here. Can we do that? A little investigation. Yellow. Uh oh. That doesn't look promising. Ooh. Who are you? What are you doing, Dr. Kenton? That's probably not comfortable, is it? I'm Commander Shepard. I'm here to get you out. Commander Shepard? I'd heard you were alive. Hackett must have received my message. We have to get out. We're not safe here. Can you walk? I'm fine. Just give me a moment. Don't have a moment. Now. If we can find a console, I can hack security. Make us an escape path. I like how everyone, when they pull their pistol out in a cutscene, like, looks at it like, Ooh, look, a pistol. How cool. Then we'll find one. Go. Ready. Okay, time to get out the big guns. That's a flashbang. Yeah, you're messing with the wrong commander, buddy. Oh shit, wasn't that open before? I feel like that was open before, maybe it wasn't. Okay, fine, we're going this way. Is there? Oh, hello. How you doing? Sir? That's not how you take cover, Shepard. You're not supposed to jump out of cover to get back in it. Come on. What are you doing? Oh, shit. Yeah, suck on that. How do you like them apples, bitch? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I apologize. I am so sorry. Prison guards, your cover sucks ass, bro. Another one bites the dust. And another one gone, another one gone, another one bites the dust. Bow, bow. Hey, I'm gonna get you too. Okay, Amanda, come on, start overriding this shit. Where are they coming from? Yellow? Where are you coming from? Yellow? Oh, I'm over here. We need to close the door we came in through. Keep them out. All right. Coming through that door in the back. Lock it down. Oh. All right, sprint to the door. See you later. They're coming up from below. Other side, go. Run away! Uh, concussive. Ah, shit! That was stupid. Why did I think the popping up there would be a good idea? What a fucking moron I am, guys. I apologize for this, uh... Horrific gameplay.
Come on, recharge, recharge. Come on, recharge. Let's go. Come on, come on. Hello, hello, hello. Got it. That did it. Let's move. Okay, I think. Oh, there's not anyone on that. Ele I could have swore people came on that elevator. Okay, maybe not. Do not let them escape. We are going to escape. Let's go. Come on, Kenson. Oh, one last thing. The hangar doors are hard locked. We'll have to get those open the old fashioned way. Of course Leave we will. Gotcha. Moving up. Okay. Here we go. Here we go, here we go. That's a flashbang. Batarians are aggressive sons of bitches, aren't they? Look at them go. Shuttle doors are hard locked. Heads what does that mean? Ah, oh, fuck off, you fucking fucker fucky. Fuck! Twice I've died here now. This is hopeless. It's because I always want to, like, keep things moving and keep it going. But sometimes, Mass Effect games especially, they just want to keep you bogged down in the same spot for 30 fucking minutes. Incoming. Hello? Oh, there they are. Thought they just fucked off for a while there. Taking a little vacation. This is gonna blind the shit out of me. Yep. Knew that was gonna happen. Can we go now? Yes, we can. So, we should be well out of range before they get their security measures unscrambled. Do you think they'll come after you? I'm not taking any chances. Batarians don't take kindly to humans who plan to destroy their mass relays. So the charges against you are true? Well, to be fair, that's about half the story. My people and I were here investigating rumors of Reaper technology out in the fringes of this system. Right. I guess you found something. We found proof that the Reapers will be arriving in this system. When they get here, they'll use its mass relay to travel throughout the galaxy. Okay, call it the that's Alpha bad. Relay. From here, the Reapers can invade anywhere in the galaxy. So you decided to destroy it. I mean, this is kind of in the middle of nowhere, isn't it? Doing that would stop the Reapers' invasion. Even at FTL speeds, it'd be months or years before they got to the next relay. We came up with what we just called the Project. A plan to launch a nearby asteroid into the relay and destroy it before the Reapers could arrive. Of course, the resulting explosion would probably wipe out the system. Right. How did you plan to launch an asteroid into a mass relay? Moving an asteroid just requires thrust and guidance, which are readily available in Omega's salvage yard. Get the right amount of power and a good VI to drive it, and you can pretty much just point and shoot. Right. I've always heard that mass relays are <clears throat> indestructible. I've heard that too. But I think it's more that nobody's willing to find out what happens when one is destroyed. Mm. And, well, we plan to slam a small planet into the thing at very high speed. 
By our calculations, that's more than enough. That's more than enough for most things, I think. Is the project still operational? I... I imagine it is. We were one button press away from launch when the Batarians arrested me. Ah, uh, uh, huh? Why do you think destroying the mass relay would destroy the entire system? Mass relays are the most powerful mass effect engines in the known galaxy. The energy released from a relay's destruction would probably resemble a supernova. It's That's super system, duper bad. But just over 300,000 Batarians live on the colony where they held us. The explosion would undoubtedly kill them all. Well, the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few, I suppose. How are you caught? We've been smuggling starship parts from Omega. Thrusters, guidance, an aftermarket ESO core. The Batarians thought that looked suspicious. I could see a why. Ago, I you took know. a few of the men on a scouting trip. And the Batarians pounced on us. They never found our actual base. We don't need more proof than that. I still don't see to how kill three hundred thousand people. Supposed invasion. The evidence came from what we call Object Row, a Reaper artifact we discovered among the asteroids near the relay itself. When we get back to Arcturus Station, I'll explain everything and provide copies of all our notes on the artifact. Tell me about What's it. What's a Reaper artifact doing in an asteroid? We don't know. Or even what its purpose is. Some things are just too old or large to comprehend. Even a reaper thousands of years dead contains power. Their artifacts are worthy of study, regardless of their purpose. Proof of invasion. How exactly does a reaper artifact give you proof of an impending invasion? It showed me visions of the reaper's arrival. Much like your Prothean beacon, I imagine. Uh, reaper, reaper stuff's very dangerous, come on. That much I know for certain. I'm sure you're not indoctrinated. You're near a reaper artifact. How have you avoided indoctrination? We've been very careful. We know what we're dealing with. We're not speaking There's really child, no Shepherd. be very careful, you know. I saw what Sovereign did at the Citadel. Trust me, I know what's at stake. Right. The stakes are too high. If you were willing to destroy a whole system over this, I want to see your proof. I guess I can't argue with that. Give me a moment. Kenson to Project Base. Voice, doctor. Affirmative. And I've got Commander Shepard with me. Tidy up the lab. The commander needs to confirm the artifact. Doesn't sound suspicious all at all. Just sit back and relax. We'll be there in no time. Sure we will. I don't trust you. I don't trust any of you. But I think we're going to end the episode here once we go through any relevant cutscenes on the base. That's a mighty big asteroid, it is. I do say so. Welcome to our tourist station. Nice place you got here. Spacious. Here we are. Welcome to Project Base. What's this? That's our countdown to arrival. When that gets to zero, the Reapers will have come. Just over two, two days. days and counting. Puts things in perspective, doesn't it? Sure, that's right. How do you know that's an accurate countdown? It is. The artifact has been giving off pulses at definite intervals since we found it. The intervals have been decreasing at a steady rate. The artifact is reacting to the Reaper's proximity. In just over 48 hours, the pulses will become constant, and the Reapers will be here. And we are so running we out of time. In two days, there's no time to waste. Then let's show you that proof. That door exits the hangar. The artifact is in our central lab area. And on that note, we're going to leave it there, guys. Like I said, we're all out of time for today. But thank you very much for watching. I always appreciate it. Make sure to check out the channel's Twitter page down in the description. I really appreciate it. I give occasional updates, I suppose, but all the videos that go up get notifications on there. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button down below. If you really enjoyed it, make sure to hit the subscribe button is also down below for more content from me. Feel free to leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought, what you liked, what you didn't like, and any suggestions for games that you would like to see me play in the future. And last, but most certainly not least, if this video just blew your mind, most definitely be sure to share this video with your friends, your family, your loved ones, random people you meet on the street, or the internet, whatever floats your boat. And I will see all of you 
in the next one. See you later.